Let me fix my hair a little bit. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> What's up, y'all? Why my shit feels like it's frozen? Hold on. I'm waiting for y'all to get in here. Get in here. Get in here. <laughs> All right. All right, y'all. So, I'm doing this quick live. Hold on. My titties out. Hey, guys. So, I'm doing this quick live, and it's most likely going to be boring to y'all. It's going to be boring to y'all because I'm not talking no crazy shit. I'm not talking no spicy shit. None of that. Like, um, I'm just going to talk to you guys about my last two days. All right, so I'm just gonna I'm just gonna talk to you guys about my last few days. So you know, um, I got in trouble because I was supposed to be I was supposed to have been doing my community service. However, I had so many different things going on. But um, these past two days, I've been doing community service, and um, it's totally different than what I thought it was going to be. Um, the only thing that I don't like about doing community service is that I have to be up very fucking early. However, I have learned so much things these past two days. And I have learned things um, about myself. Um, oh, my God. Like, I have learned things about myself. I don't want to cry, but wow. It was just such an experience today. So, yesterday, I have learned about veterans. and Because I went to a veteran's home. Like, a, a, a after a veteran's home of... Um, veterans, they're going through stuff. And, um, you know, we all celebrate Veterans Day. And, you know, we always be like, thank you to our soldiers. But I don't know anybody that ever went to war. I don't know any veterans. I don't I don't know anybody that went to Afghanistan. And I don't know, or, or any type of war, like the Vietnam War, the Gulf Corps, uh, the Gulf Corps War. I don't know anybody that went to war before, right? So when we celebrate Veterans Day, we all happy and we all taking our breaks. But I don't personally know anybody that went through that experience. And yesterday I learned so much and i have learned that a lot of veterans they go through so much i mean i watched i read a book uh, a couple of years ago and i kind of have like a glimpse of it but i don't know like they go through so much um and like this country or a lot of countries a lot of countries i'm not gonna just say this country because some countries are even worse they don't like provide the proper service to our veterans or to our 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 ex-soldiers and everything like a lot of them um suffer from ptsd and a lot of them turn to drug abuse because they're trying to escape all of the things that they went through and it's crazy because you might see you might see a crackhead or you might see somebody shooting dope in in the, in the train and you might just think like oh look at that dope head look at that fiend but that's that's most likely mo most likely a veteran that is going through so much mental shit and have fought for our country, and because he didn't get the help that he needed, he's in that situation, and it's so crazy to me, like, how they just don't give a fuck, some of them be training for 12 years, some of them, this is all, this is what they all do, this is the only thing they do, this is what they train for, to be a ranger, and to be in the Navy, and they get injured, and they come back home, and they don't, they don't know how to adjust to society, they don't know how to adjust to society, so they turn to crimes, they turn to drugs because they just not giving them the help. Like, hey, you like, hey, like you you could do this, you could do that, and it's just so sad that it it, it gets it hurts me because it's like, wow, these people are really fighting for us. It's fighting for our country. It's fighting for us to be able to be free. It's it's fighting for us to 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 live right and they just don't get the proper service after they get dispatched or after they get hurt and that really meant something to me like um it's amazing to to see that and then today today um I went to uh a women's center a women's center of women that you know they just got released from prison and like it just has me like in a an emotional pickle today. Like today, I just been emotional the whole day because I have heard so many different stories from these women, and um, you know, there's a lot of things that like I noticed that it's like no matter what situation you're in or like where where it a, in a point of life, like it's like I feel like so many women we are going through so many things in our little different ways and. It just, it helped me realize today, you know what I realized today? That it's like, 
you don't have to be in a depression, like you don't have to be depressed to go to therapy or to have conversations with people. Like in 2019 and everything, I was going to therapy because I was very fucking depressed and I don't really talk about it. And now I'm in a better space. But what I didn't notice today is that I do need to speak to people. Like speaking and talking about how I'm feeling, it 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 do makes me feel better. It do open my soul. And I'm so happy that um a lot of these women today they, they share their story with me and it just it just broke my heart and I it just shows me how strong women are, like to adapting to society, to picking up the pace right after getting out of jail because they have children and um, how much they battle the, battle that emotion in from coming home to just having to pick up the pace without nobody talk talking to, and it's just it's just amazing. And I'm I feel like this community service was really like a blessing in disguise because I just been on my work work shit work shit work shit mother shit like work shit mother shit home shit wifey shit, and um, if it wasn't for this community service, I probably would have never like done what I did yesterday and today and what I'm going to continue doing. And I have learned so much and I have, I have like, I don't know, I just opened up so, so much and I just feel so good. Like, I feel so good. Like, and I'm grateful. Like, you, you just never know. Like, I'm, I'm, I'm very grateful for these two days of community service. So I just want to tell the judge or the DA or whoever's making me this community service, like, it's like, like, um, I know this was like a punishment for me and like the punishment that I do feel is a punishment is like waking up early, but it, it also has been a blessing to me because I have learned so much and I, and it teach me like to appreciate my life and it teach me to appreciate others as well. And it taught me like, there's so many people going through so many things. And as an adult, we all have in common is that it's never going to get better. It's, it's, it's going to get better, but it's like life is never going to be always easy because as an adult, you're just always going to have a responsibility. And you're more than just uh, you're more than just a veteran. You're more than just a ranger. Like you're more than your career. You're more than than what you offer. And yeah. Just really happy. Yeah. Yep. That's what I want to say. I told you I was going to be a boring live. I told you I was going to be a boring live. I just like, wow, it's just what an amazing experience. And thank you guys. Bye.